Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, this card is actually a birthday card for my sister, Yvonne. And you'll be seeing this on her actual birthday. So, happy birthday, Yvonne. To make this card, I used a stamp set, Blessings from Home, and I used that image only. And for the happy birthday, I got this one, Slim Sayings it's called. Um, I only bought this card because I wanted that stamp, congrats to the graduate, because my grandson's graduating this year. I've got to make him a card, but I'm going to be using this big chunky happy birthday. I don't think it will fit on there will it? Oh yeah. So, and that is heat embossed in white, which I never got out. Let me get my white embossing powder. Got it. Stick it back there. Right. I have got here a card base of 8 inches by 8 inches, 8 by 8, I've scored it at 4, folded it in half, I've got a piece of smoky slate at 3 and 3 quarters by 7 and 3 quarters, and then a piece of white at 3 and 5 eighths by 7 and 5 eighths, and that's going to go inside. I've also got another piece of smoky slate at three and three quarters, I'm sure, by seven and three quarters, and a piece of DSP, and this comes from, I did open the book and have a look and I forgot, a good, in good taste designer series paper, I made a card the other day using a piece of this and I couldn't remember what it was called but that's what it's called in good taste from the annual catalogue and that measures three and five eighths by seven and five eighths and that will sit on top oh tell me this is too big Hmm, I think I might need to take this down. Three and five, three and three quarters it should be. It's over. So then this should be three and five eighths. Three and... Five eights. Ah. There we are. That's better. Get rid of them. Get rid of this. Right, so that's what you need, three and three quarters by seven and three quarters and then three and five eighths by seven and five eighths. And that gives us a nice small border all the way around. I might as well glue this on because we're not stamping or anything on it. It's like a... Uh, knitted effect on the other side and or crocheted or whatever it is. My glue's not coming out very well. And 
and then pop this on top of the card base. to stamp on so I'll do that when I'm stamping uh, that I need for heat embossing and that I don't need for now so what we're going to do I have stamped out and coloured a flower in so we're going to do another one in fact I've done both I've done both but I'm going to do another one and I'm going to stamp it right in the middle of this card and keep it. So I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and I'm going to place this right there. on this glue. That's quite nice that. Very subtle. Um, printing or stamping. Alright, let's let that dry. And we'll do this. Uh, embossing the sentiment. So I've got my buddy out. I've got some Versamark sticky ink and ink this up really well. I'm going to place it down the bottom here to save me cutting. That's not very straight. Let's do that again. Turn it over. Ink it up again. I need to clean my blocks. It really is filthy. That's better. We'll get our embossing powder. be noisy.
and that's our sentiment done. You can see that happy birthday. Now we just need to use a small one. Cut it down. See if I can trim just a little bit off the bottom there. That's it. Right, put that to one side. And now we're going to colour in this one. Right, I've got, should be crumb cake, dark. The reason I've got dark is my light is dried out. I haven't re in fact, I'm not re inking it again because the brushes have gone. So. I should order myself another one. Right, all I'm doing with this is just going around the outside of the centre pieces. Just This one, and now I've got dark daffodil delight, and then all I'm doing is colouring the centres in, going over the soft suede uh, crumb cake, blending it in. There's some little flowers here which I'm just doing in yellow or oh, daffodil delight. Right, um, I didn't get ounce of saffron. Uh, right, I've got so saffron here, and what we're going to do is just colour in all these small flowers. them ones and these two up here and 
and this one. I'm going to keep looking at this to make sure I do it right. Right then, the big two big flowers, these two, I've got my balmy blue and all I'm doing is just going up where the shading is. just got blue coming out the center same with this one this one's got quite a lot of it and then these little tiny flowers here the three of them I just coloured them in in Flirty Flamingo. Colour I haven't used for a long time. Then all the leaves are coloured in light saffron. Is it light? Oh no, I used both. That's right. So what I did, every other leaf I coloured in light. And the other ones we'll do in dark saffron. So saffron. Just have two tone leaves. Love this stamp set. In fact, today's filming, I'm filming four cards, the three of them. Or with this stamp set. And then I'll give it a break. Put it on the shelf for a little while before I use it again. is our flower coloured in and once you've coloured it in you can if you've got them use the dies to cut it out but of course I'm not going to cut this out because I've already done it blue peep style there's my two flowers so I'll put this aside. I'm going to use that as a card front, a flat 
card front. I shall show you when I've made it. Right. Um, bring my card base back wherever I've done with it. It's here. Oh, we've got this to stamp. All I'm doing on this is just my normal have a wonderful day. Or well, wishing you a wonderful day. And just point that in the middle. Like that. And we'll <clears throat> move this on here. I know I'm a bit overcovered the grey, but it is a special card for my sister. I've got a birthday card from her. I haven't opened it yet. It's been really good because my birthday's not until Sunday. And when you see it, I would have had it. When you see this. Yvonne's a year and 19 days younger than me. Oh no, I've done that wrong. Oh look, I'll sort that out afterwards. Unless I do this, I chop that little bit off. I could do that that way. Hmm. What do you reckon? Fix the other bit. Yeah, because it's, I like it this way. So what we've done with this is one is flat and one is on dimensionals. So. This one we'll put on dimensionals. So this one we're going to glue flat. these backings off. It's nice having dimensionals on you work but pain in the butt taking all these off. down here 
on dimensionals. So I don't want one there. That's all right. Put some glue on that bit. Help if I took all these up. This one I'm going to have to either take it out or stick another bit on top. I shall sort that out afterwards. Right there's my card. I hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday and Friday at the moment. All I can say is thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.